Hi everyone! Today I have another book for you about plants and before I read this one I want you to think a little bit about the different reasons that people grow plants. So why do you think people choose to grow plants sometimes? I know that when I plant flowers in my on my patio it's because I really like how it makes me feel to be around colorful bright flowers. It makes me feel happy and calm and uh, it just makes it feel like a nice space. Can you think of any other reasons someone might grow plants? In this book, the title is called Growing Vegetable Soup. So what does that tell you about one reason people might grow plants? It might be that they want to have food to eat, right? So sometimes when we grow plants, it's to have fruits and vegetables to eat. So this is Growing Vegetable Soup. This is written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Growing Vegetable Soup. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. We're ready to work and our tools are ready too. So we've got a rake, a shovel, and a hoe. I like how they put the labels next to the illustrations so we know exactly what they are. We are planting the seeds. Just a seed package, garden glove. There's a hole and soil. So here's a green bean seed, a pea seed, a corn seed, a zucchini squash seed, and carrot seeds. I think that a lot of you have planted pea seeds, haven't you? And all the sprouts, here's a trowel, broccoli, tomato, potato eyes, set onions, pepper, cabbage, and a peat moss plant, or peat moss pot, I'm sorry. And growing and giving them water. So here's the tomato, the potato, the green bean, carrot, cabbage, the watering can, pepper, zucchini squash, pea, onion, broccoli, and corn. Here's the water. And waiting for warm sun to make them grow. Oh, what do you notice? It looks like they're starting to grow. Here's that zucchini squash and onion, potato, pea, carrot, corn. There's a weed. Tomato, pepper, cabbage, green bean, and broccoli. And grow. There's the sun. And grow into plants. There's a few new things to label. Look, there's the net. Here's the zucchini squash and soil and the stake. The pea, squash bloom, squash bud. We watch over them and weed. There's a worm, a hand grubber, and a green bean. Broccoli. Until the vegetables are ready for us to pick. Can you tell what those vegetables are without me even reading the label? Those look like the way they look when they're ready for us to eat in the grocery store, don't they? There's the tomato and pepper and corn. This is a hand basket to carry it in. Or to dig up. There's a spading fork, carrot, potato, bushel basket. So some of the vegetables we eat grow under the soil. So you have to dig them up to get to the part that we eat. And carry home. Then we wash them and cut them and put them in a pot of water. So here's the soup pot and the soup ladle. That's like the big spoon that you can use. A knife and look, it looks like they cut up their vegetables. Here's the broccoli and potato, green bean, cabbage, pepper, pea, tomato, zucchini squash, corn, carrot, onion. And cook them into vegetable soup. Mmm, how many of you like vegetable soup? Have you tried that before? At last, it's time to eat it all up. Here's the soup spoon and the soup bowl. It was the best soup ever. And we can grow it again next year. The end. So I'll be curious to see if as you're growing plants at home and you have some that are vegetables, if you choose to try to grow them and eat them and see what they're like, this week we're going to read some books that are focused on plants that we can grow and then eat. 
and where the seeds are in those plants and how they grow. So I'm excited for you to get to learn a little bit more about that. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you all very soon. Take care.